if you have a spec family guy, that's not going to get you on BoJack Horseman, right. which you know, which was way more realistic, even though they're both cartoons. So, yeah, yeah. you want to have the tone match the show, which is why you need so many different specs. And I, and then again, we're getting into the. It's so weird. Like when I'm hiring, I would per, I prefer to read a spec of a show that I'm uh, that that I'm familiar with. But again, the other the other side of the business, they're telling you. You know, to write pilots. A pilot. So, so would that advice still apply that I should write multiple pilots in multiple tones to match yes. the tones of popular TV shows or shows that I'd like to be similar to what I can... It's basically just show, calling cards to say, this is a pilot I wrote that I'm proud of that matches the tone of your show. Yeah, exactly. And we, we just had that situation where we were up... My partner and I were up for running a, a show that's that's currently on the air. And the show... Uh, we, had, we have many samples that we could send out. So we had to decide which sample matched the tone best of their show so okay so so the practice of writing a pilot is not only helping me hone my craft but it's also helping me establish a library of samples based on the which is going to increase my job opportunities right yeah almost like uh, you know growing up in oklahoma we had different fishing lures for different types of fish they they attract different fish and so to me it sounds like you're basically baiting your hook or probably using a different lure to catch the fish that you're trying to catch yeah yeah that's exactly it Interesting. I did have that conversation with uh, with a showrunner recently as well, and he brought up the fact that you know one of the one of the staff writers that he hired was a baby writer. They turned in a script, and it was very much it was like this is obviously based on the writer's life, like it follows them coming to L.A. trying to get a job in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And he said it didn't really match what I was looking for, and but it was the best that I saw. And the other set of that, unfortunately, is. I have no no idea how long that person worked on that pilot. They could have been working on that for four years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So how do you how do you navigate that? Like, is there any way to show that you have more skill set when you're in that situation where you're, when you're trying to get staffed? No, it's often, um, you know, when you're staffing, you someone they'll, they'll give me a stack of like a hundred scripts. You know, you have a lot of scripts of new writers, and I will read like the first five pages of each one. And then if it if I if I'm not impressed by the first five, I just toss it, because why? Because I have 99 more to go, mm. and so if those first five pages are not wowing me, if they don't do all the requirements of hitting what a story needs to be, uh, I toss it. And that may seem cruel and unfair, but like, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Like you would. Yeah. 